Hello guys, welcome back to RPG Maker. I'm Dr. Sin. We're going to do another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, awesome dungeon slash uh, cave. Uh, as you can see, I already made a new map titled Cave. Um, I have it 50 by 50. I'm using the dungeon tile set. And right now, I'm just going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to put, let's see, which one sounds good. Mm. I have the DLC music in here a little bit. I like that. I'm going to go with that. Also add some drips. Perhaps at five. Just to make it a little quieter. All right. So, first thing that we want to do before we get started is download a plugin called Terax Lighting. It's by Terax, and it creates an extra layer of the darkens the map and adds the light resources. Click on Help to learn how to use it. Um, basically, in your map. Click edit, put light 250. You can just copy that. Pound or hashtag and then six Fs. All right. Now we're going to go with default settings here, but it doesn't really matter. Click, right click, and then hit create dungeon. Now, this is where you can create your wall and top of your dungeon. I'm going to pick. This, I think that one looks good. Click OK. Whoops. We're going to do that again. But this time, I want to add margins. And actually, you know what? We're going to cancel that. And I like the way that looks. But I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to add. A little bit of uh, my own flavor to it. All right, you get it? you got me. So I don't want like a super super square dungeon. I kind of want it kind of uh, odd-ish in a way where. Um, I don't know actually. I don't know what I want to go for yet. Uh, basically, uh, when you're making a really cool dungeon, an awesome dungeon, uh, you're going to want to kind of obviously you want to avoid the square. You want to know what you're going for. Some people might want a, a maze dungeon, some people might not want a maze dungeon. And it's up to uh, to you to decide. Some people want big rooms. And you just go from room to room. You know, taking on a boss or something. Um, it's really... It, it can vary to everybody. About the way you want your... Uh, map to be. So, go ahead and kind of just make your map. Uh, I... I, I if I was to give any level design tips here, I have a definite uh, opening. We'll put one there. And pretty much the generating the dungeon thing kind of does a lot for you. Uh, I kind of modify it a little bit. Um, I don't know what else I would really change in this particular um dungeon it looks pretty good already uh and that's why i kind of i was gonna add wide margins to it because i like wide margins but i think i'm gonna keep this the way it is because i kind of like it even though i'm adding some of my own wide margins myself all right add another out branching room 
And the way I'm making these rums, I'm just kind of like, you know, just whatever. Just kind of whatever it turns out to be, it turns out, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, that looks good. So, first thing that you would want to do. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is what that Terralax lighting does. Now that I've got the base uh, here, go ahead and start. Um, I have the four parties. I didn't change the parties. It's probably going to be some blaring music, so watch your ears. here okay that should do it actually you know what really quick I'm gonna go to system and I'm going to turn that volume down fucking title I'm just gonna turn it off that works okay So here we are, a Matt RPG Maker. And this is what the Terax lighting does. Now, it, you can see that vent is glowing, but oh, that's messed up. But you can also see that um, the light follows me. And that's, that's kind of what we want going on here is uh, that nice light to follow us and kind of make it that eeriness. We already got that background so sound and the background music going, so it sounds pretty good. Aside from me walking on top of the walls, I'd say it's pretty cool. Now, what we can do is I can cut that and move it. Let's see, I'm just gonna move it there, paste it, and I'm gonna edit it. And I'm just gonna give it a fire image, uh, a candle, like a lamp. This works, and then kind of do that so that when we do play, uh, that random light that was in the corner will now look like it's coming from the lamp. Uh, you can mess around with the settings on the Terax lighting, but honestly, I wouldn't uh, worry about it too much. Um, it's so, but yeah, if you want it differently, definitely uh, do it differently. I'm going to go ahead and put some, see, we got some wall candles here, and we have some random fires. Um... Why not go and uh, put some wall candles down, stepping, and then add uh, the uh, what needs to be put down, put light. Um, we're going to put 200. It's going to make it less of a less bright. Go ahead and uh, cut, paste, paste. Um, fix this issue. That we had there. All right, that fixes that issue. Really quick, make sure there's no other messed up areas. And we're good. All right. So go ahead and add your lighting around to it.
And then again, you can always just change the image just so you don't have to keep writing into that note, the light, and uh, all that. And then of course you can add your your treasure chest your treasure chest, you know, with your gold in it and whatnot. Um have some sort of uh see this is supposed to make it look like there was somebody digging there. So might as well go ahead and do that. Um we do have some plants up here that I would kinda just avoid for the most part. Um, I, not that it, not that, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't think plants would look really, you know, like it would be, it kind of looks out of place, I guess, is where I'm trying to look at for, is that plants in a cave kind of look out of place a little bit. I don't know. But, you know, you do you. If you want that, go ahead. I've got pillars here. You can use pillars depending on the cave that you're going to be using. Um, I'm just going to put them around to be kind of like ruins uh, to it. Um, add some wood here, perhaps. Uh, and you don't want it too cluttery. You don't want to like, have the person like running into things constantly and trying to avoid obstacles. You know, You don't really want that. Um, go ahead and add some cracks, maybe, to, uh, to some things around here. Just kind of make it look more like, you know, it's a cave. Just kind of not super secure this, this thing. Um, somebody's trying to dig out for some gold here. Let's see. I don't know. We got bones. I love bones in caves because it makes it feel more uh, uh, like it's got more of a threat to it. You know what I mean? All right. I have some excavator tools laying around. Uh, I don't like having things, too many things that are the same thing next to each other. Because there's literally no variation of these things in RPG Maker. A lot of game makers and uh, games in general will always have that um, variation. That doesn't look right. In fact, why would there be gold there? Alright. And, uh, you know, make things... Uh, Always make things interactable, uh, is what I say. Uh, same as characters, just kind of, uh, yeah, discard. This is what I do. Uh, if you want them to have, like, search it and have them find something, just do treasure. But when it goes to image, just go all the way up to none. The gold he wants to find. I mean, it's a lot easier this way. Edit. Remove the, uh, the chest thing. You can remove that, too. Um, but, yeah, simple as that. And, uh, as with every cave, uh, um, you're gonna have bad guys. If you want to have random bad guys, depending on how hard you want it, I would have the encounter steps so far up as 100, depending on how long they're gonna be in there. Eventually, they're gonna get sick of it, want to leave. So I'd keep it at like 100, but since we don't have any encounters, it, that 100 is not going to do anything since we're not actually making a cave. Well, I'm not. This is all just for show, sort of, to show you guys. I mean, all right.
Huh. Well, let's see what kind of images we got. We got this. I'm going to try that. All right. So let's try out our our cool dungeon that we made super quick. That we can go ahead and add a few creatures to. Maybe a boss at the end. Uh, maybe have a quest. I can't go over those holes. And I can't go over that rock. So unfortunately we can't get to that. Unless we go this way. 50G was found. Sweet. I am encouraging exploration. That's always lovable. That's always really nice. Ooh, what's here? Ooh, a thousand gold. Or 100. I'm so messed up. And we did change that down to 200 for all the other ones. Just not for that one. And so it doesn't give off too much light where it feels, feels messed up. Ah, uh, nothing down there. Why do I need to explore? Ah, uh, well, this is cool. Oh, creepy. We got bones. Come on, party members. Let's see what's up here. There seems to be light going up here. Holy mercy, wah. The candle's floating. It's so close to the edge. It's going to fall any second. And on second thought, we finally found the bones that Professor Xavier wanted us to get. Good job, team. We didn't even have any encounters. Now we face 30 on the way back because that's our PG maker and encounters are messed up. All right, guys. So go ahead and add your personal thumbprint, your unique level designing skills, your uh, quests, maybe perhaps a few NPCs, uh, your encounters and such like that. And just, you know, have fun making your game. Don't, don't be bummed out if it doesn't turn out as good as you want it to be or if somebody disses you just have fun making your game and uh you know enjoy life to the fullest and uh yeah this kind of got weird awkward here i don't know what's going on uh well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button that that really shows me that you liked it hit that subscribe button if you want more i do have a few other uh, videos of RPG Maker up along with a bunch of other videos and comment if you have any comments questions help or any of that I will include a link to the Terex lighting plugin down below for you guys I'm Dare to Sin peace out